Last week, I shared the cross-cutting concept progression matrix that shows what students should be doing, how they should be engaging with the cross-cutting concepts at each grade band. And the resource that I want to share this week builds off of this. So Paul Anderson has been building mini lessons focused on each of the cross-cutting concepts. So we're going to be looking at his site. It's thewonderofscience.com. So this is Paul Anderson's and GSS resource um, site. Once you're there, if you click on the resources and then go to the mini lessons, this is where you'll find them. So they're not all complete yet. They're all planned out, but he doesn't have all the lessons up quite yet. Um, so we're just going to look at cause and effect. Actually, when you first get there, there is an introductory video that I would suggest watching because he does a really good job of explaining why he's doing this and why it matters and how the videos are set up. I just want to point out that um, so for each cross-cutting concept. He's broken it down into a whole series of what he calls mini lessons. And so these are, each one has a video and then some slides that you can use to practice. So these are a great resource to learn more about each cross-cutting concept as a teacher. They could also be used as you're developing lessons to explicitly teach your students what these cross-cutting concepts are and how to use them. And they also align to the progression matrix. So you'll see for cause and effect, um, he has an introductory video and went on testing causes. And so you can see that those fall into the K2 grade band. As secondary teachers, we may need to actually start with those with our students because it could be that nobody has ever taught our students explicitly how to use cause and effect in a science um, setting before. And then we start getting in to relationships. And you can see that is something that is in the three, five grade band. When we start getting into mechanisms and probabilities, that is in the six, eight grade band. And then causation and correlation is touched on in six, eight, and they get more into it in high school. And then scale mechanisms is in high school when we start looking at what's going on at different scales in this relationship. So, and you can see right now, he has the first five, five mini lessons available. Um, and so the other two for this particular one will be available soon. Um, if cross-cutting concepts are new to you and this seems really overwhelming, I would suggest just picking one or two cross-cutting concepts that you want to focus on either for the rest of this year or cross-cutting concepts that come a lot come up a lot in your curriculum. And maybe just focusing on for yourself learning more about that cross-cutting concept and considering, you know, using Paul's lessons to kind of consider how you can explicitly teach that cross-cutting concept to your students at the appropriate level and also how you can assess them and incorporate it into your curriculum.